Welcome back to some more Umineko When They Cry. So where we last left off, I can say shit really goes down. Uh, Kraus um, called the siblings out for their greed for money. And turning out out families just went all fucked up. And well, this whole epitaph stuff. Yeah, I had to re-record re re it again. Don't you hate it when you're like halfway, half hour in and then you get interrupted? Some background noise and such. So there's that. Yeah, that's uh, pretty wacky in the most in the, in the sword. I don't know, man. I personally think Prowse is a bit of a dick. Well, who knows? And let's, anyway, let's continue reading. It certainly would be heartwarming if, as Nanjo had suggested, this epitaph had been made to repair the siblings' relationship. Well, the siblings' relationship is already fucked up, so... Oh yeah, but, oh, for the most part, I have to scroll wheel up just to fix the uh, little music audio, because it gets faded and then I have to exit out, and that was a little bit more louder. However, both Nanjo and Genji knew that nothing could be more impossible than this. They'd known Kinzo longer than anyone, and Kinzo trusted them more than his own relatives. But even they could not guess at his true motives. Oyakata-sama いやいや。<笑> ゆっくり楽しむことができそうです。現地さんこそ、いかがですかな。私にはお館様にお仕えする家具に過ぎません。It's like as Nanjo lightly laughed in response, he once again looked at the epitaph. The epitaph on the portrait called My Beloved Witch Beatrice goes as follows Behold the sweet fish river running through my beloved hometown. You who seek the golden land, follow its path downstream in search of the key. As you travel down it, you will see a village. In that village, look for the shore the two will tell you of. There sleeps the key to the golden land. The one who obtains the key must then travel to the golden land in accordance with these rules. On the first twilight, offer the six chosen by uh, the key as sacrifices. Well, so you're gonna get. Wow, I didn't know we're gonna have six people gonna be offered. On the second twilight, those who remain shall tear apart the two who are close. Tear apart? As in, you're gonna ruin relationships or are you gonna, like, kill them off? <laughs> That's what I think. On the third twilight, those who remain shall praise my, my noble name. On the fourth twilight, gouge the head and kill. And. 
Uh, oh yes, it gets more dark from there. See, from stuff like these, based on the Twilight, I would think that th there's going to be involved some murder. On the fifth of Twilight, gouge the chest and kill. On the sixth Twilight, gouge the stomach and kill. Oh boy. On the seventh Twilight, gouge the knee and kill. <laughs> On the eighth Twilight, gouge the leg and kill. See, I thought there was going to be like Twilights based on episodes, but I guess not. On the ninth Twilight, the witch shall revive. A nun shall be left alive. On the tenth Twilight, a journey's end. You shall obtain to the power of the Golden Land's treasures once and for the last time. The witch shall praise the wise and bestow four treasures. One shall be all the gold from the Golden Land. One shall be the resurrection of all the dead souls. The dead souls as in the one that were sacrificed and killed off. One shall be the resurrection of the love that was lost. So... What? That was lost. One shall be to put the witch to sleep for all time. Sleep peacefully, my beloved witch Beatrice. And there you go. It's now... And the little ding sound means that it is now added into the tips. The sandy beach. Oh, this music, in which it, it's possibly going to get copyrighted by the bot. So. Daijuunobanにたびは終わり。黄金鏡に至るだろう。黄金鏡に至るだろう。黄金鏡に至るだろう。黄金鏡に至るだろう。黄金鏡に至るだろう。黄金鏡に至るだろう。黄金鏡に
まずはその皮が起点になるからなんで黄金鏡を目指す者はそいつを下って鍵を探せとあるわけだ小田原にある川ってなんだアユが泳ぐ川だぜ。スウィートフィッシュ。That sounds amazing. 小田原でアユって言ったら、早川だろうね。うん。渓流釣りで有名だよ。What? How do you hate fish, though? <laughs> like, what? I guess some people, I guess not all people enjoy eating fish. That's how you call it. Oh, brother. Delicious. Saki may shake the bakari that tenony, more haraga hit the kitchmose. Oh boy, don't I relate to that? Ano, biscuit to them, or much shimashoka? What? Oh, hi, worry. So that's more the tangent eyes, eh? Kimmy Sunda. Shannon Chan was faithfully keeping us company since she didn't have any afternoon chores for a while. I would have thought that since she's a servant, accompanying us would force her to take care of us and tire her out, but that didn't seem to be the case for her. On the contrary, she seemed to enjoy joining in on a conversation with people. Joining in with people. What? I skipped it too much. Uh, a company has would force her to take care of us entire out, but that didn't seem to be the case for her. On the contrary, she didn't enjoy joining in. She seemed to be enjoying enjoy joining in on a conversation with people close to her age. When I asked, I heard that she was the sort of worker whose room and board were supplied by her employer. So normally, the only person close to her in age was Jessica. Yeah, I can imagine how that might be pretty dull. さて、小田原で愛の川って言えば、早川だってことは分かった。となりゃ、下るしかねえよな。早川を下ると、何があるんだろうな。えっと、下流に出て、海に出ると思います。そうさ、河口部に出る。そして、碑文の三行目には、川を下れば、やがて里ありとあるな。ちなみに、そういう河口部は大抵、大昔から輸送の要衝になってて、大きな都市があるもんさ。ここが、次のチェックポイントだな。うんうん。なかなかいい筋だね。An interesting theory. バトラ君の想像通りそこは大昔にとても栄えたことだよ小田原城があるところだねあ修学旅行で小田原城に行った気がします素敵なお城でしたよああ私も小田原城だったぜ洋館に住んでてなんだがやっぱり日本人は和風の方が落ち着くよな。You don't say. おお、マリアお城退屈。遊園地がいい。ほう。<笑> How can castles be boring? It is a、uh, wait. It was not everyone that is into those、uh, those kind of things in. 
in video games or fiction. It'll be like, oh, this castle is a badass. And such. Surely there's a theme park that had a little, had a castle to it, but oh well. そう<笑> I don't know. まあ、2年前の私たちもそこまでは行き着いたぜ。小田原で鮎の泳ぐ川を下った里。そこが多分小田原城あたりだろうってところまでは私たちも行き着いたさ。問題は次の行だろう。さて、Jessica grinned broadly. She seemed to be implying that she would have solved the puzzle long ago if it was that easy. Damn it. I'll definitely find it and keep it all for myself. So, if the re if their parents and the such are greedy for the gold, even though they're trying to like split the differences, I wonder what it's going to be for for the, the battler and the such. The ってのが何のことかわからねえが、とにかく騎士だな。うーん、騎士って名前がつく地名でもあるのかな。えっと、その騎士という地名が小田原にあるんだそうですよ。お、詳しいな。ってことは何だよ。シャノンちゃんも黄金を狙って謎解きに挑戦してるんだな。You would think that the fact that she's a servant and she calls herself as furniture would give a shit about money. となりゃ、俺たちはライバルだぜ。No, that's not how it works. べ、別に黄金なんて興味はただその以前にジョージ様から教えてもらっただけで。2年前の私たちも同じ推理に行き着いたってわけさ。わざわざ地図を広げて調べたんだぜ。小田原城の北に5キロくらいだったかな。そこには確かに蘇我騎士という地名があるよ。でもそこからがわからないんだ。次の五行目にはその土地のどこに鍵があるかは記してない。マリアちゃん、読んでくれるかい？おお、そこに。黄金教への鍵が眠る。うん。やめた。小学生とって広いだろうし、かつてそこに後ろ見分けの家があったわけでもない。その広大な土地のどこかに鍵が隠されてて納品取ってんじゃ。こいつは手上げってわけだぜ
そうね行ったことはないからわからないけど地図によると山の中みたいだよ確か浅間山の山麓みたいだったねうーんなんだかパッとしねえな宝のありかを隠した謎ってのはもっとぴったりとはまるもんじゃねえのかよどうも曽我吉ってのがそもそも間違いって気がするぜ私は曽我吉を疑ってるぜ私たちが知らないだけで例えばじいさまの子供時代を過ごした家とかがあるかもしれないだろう一行目に懐かしき故郷をって行があるくらいだもんなシャノンはじいさまによく酒とか継がされてたろ昔話とか聞かされたことないのか I'm surprised he didn't mention this I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he mentioned it these past once. o y a k a t a s a m a w a m u k a s h i n o h a n a s h i w a h o t o n d o s a r e m a s e n Okay, so he is a bit private about it. Tada, Ushiro Miyaki ga horobi kaketa, Kanto da Shinsai ni tsuite, Hijongi Hitogoto no yogi hanasare koto ga arimashita no de. Kanto chifo yori, zutto empo ni osmai datta kamo s h i r e m a s e n 後宮本家は小田原に住んでたかもしれないけど分家はその限りじゃなかったろうねおじいさまはよく自分のことを分家も分家跡継ぎに最も縁遠かったと言われるくらいだからねってことはつまり懐かしき故郷ってのがすでに小田原じゃない可能性もあるってことだな。じいさまの故郷なんて聞いたこともないぜ聞いても素直に教えちゃくれねえだろうしよ懐かしき故郷というのが後宮家のルーツを指さないのであれば小田原説は初めから間違ってることになっちゃうねもちろん曽我吉の疑いが晴れたわけじゃないけれども例えば幼少の頃を小田原で過ごしその後遠方へ引っ越した可能性もあるだろうしおおさっきから何の話かわかんないおお That's okay I don't even know what these guys are talking about as well Maria had been completely left out of the conversation, and she now sat puffing out her cheeks in boredom. Ah, つまりだな黄金すごろくの最初のスタート地点が決まらないことには何も始まらないってことだぜ。んいや、待てよ。最初の五行で見つかるのは鍵だろ鍵なんてなくても。扉はぶち壊して入ることだってできるはずだぜとりあえず最初の5行をすっ飛ばしてその先の推理に入ってもいいんじゃねえかおお。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あおい。あい。まあいいやどうせ暇つぶしなんだ続きを聞かせろよバトラの推理、yeah, let's hear it. でもその先からは急に物騒になるんですよね Oh yeah it, it, no, Don't worry it gets better Shannon Chan frowned it slightly After looking back at Maria's notebook to recall what was written there Yeah I was forced to agree 第一の番に、鍵の選びし6人を生贄に捧げよう。か。You know, anytime I click and then he just pauses it, 
So I, I'll miss like a slight bit of dialogue there. It happened to me like, like, I don't know, 50 minutes, like, bit, like 50 minutes ago and such, that, or somewhere around like that, I just missed the part of the reading part and I just like swell up. I'm sure there is more to this than that. It is. Sono that's almost the entire family by now. Oh. You sound pretty excited. なるほど。魔女復活のための生贄か。そういう解釈にもなるな。その結果、第9の番に魔女が蘇って最後は極めつけたな。第9の番に魔女は蘇り、誰も生き残れはしない。結局はみんな死んでしまいます。それでようやく次の第十の番にゴールってことになってんな。みんな信じまうのに黄金教へ至るだろうって言われても困ったもんだぜ。うん。鍵を手に旅に出た当人も生き残れないに含めるのかどうかは解釈の分かれるところだね。しかしよ
Well, we're on the half hour mark, so I will be right back. Alright, I've returned. Had to take a bit of a water break. Anyway, let's continue. Let me repeat the line just in case. Of course, once we started laughing like that, Maria, who believed in the witch, got angry. Oh boy. <laughs> this ain't gonna go so well. See? At least you two are at fault there. Jessica apologized, sticking out her tongue, but Maria didn't accept it. She grabbed her notebook back out on my hands and, opening to some other pages, tried to prove that the witch existed. Those pages had colorful drawings of witches on them and well conveyed the fantastical image Maria had of witches. It wasn't the normal sinister image of a crooked-nosed hag flying around on a broom, like in movies and TV and, and the such, but a dreamlike person with unnatural powers who could do anything and wore a beautiful dress. It was just what you expect from an un from an imaginative young girl. Flitting through the sky, crossing a rainbow, dancing around all night with a teacup and a teapot that would never get empty no matter how much you poured out of it. With a flourish of her staff, the stars in the sky would become candy and pour down, and flowers that produced sweets would bud by the roadside. To Maria, witches were the only concept that could embody the magical dream that so captivated her. As she grew older, it was the last remaining thing that could give richness to her dull and plain everyday life. That's why Maria believed in witches. She didn't want that dream of hers to be tarnished. That's why she didn't want anyone to tarnish the epitaph, which affirmed the existence of witches. Maria -chan ni totte wa... But magic to revive the witch. So it was the single link between Maria and the witch. Maria was very angry and clung to George Aniki. Jessica and I scratched our heads and apologized. It might not be possible to smooth things over again like the time she got mad at from the portrait. Maria didn't seem willing to be easily consoled. Unlike Jessica and I who hung our heads wondering what to do, Shannon Chan timidly opened her mouth. あの、マリア様、ご存知ですか私たち使用人の間ではベアトリーチ様の階段が語り継がれているんですよ。あ、そうだったっけ。シャドウ、聞かせてやれよ。私は知らないんだけど、使用人の間じゃかなり有名な話らしいぜ。何の話だ階段うん。僕たちが生まれる前からある話らしいね。母さんにも話を聞かされたこと
The two masters? What the hell? One of the day and one of the night. The tale that Shannon told was just like a typical campfire ghost story. If there was a forest with a witch living inside it, then of course the witch would come pay the mansion a visit from time to time. At some point, this ghost story naturally sprouted up between the servants. けしたはずの明かりがついていたり。つけたはずの明かりが消えていたり。置いたはずのものがなくなっていたり。置いた覚えのないものが置かれていたり。そういうことがあるたびに古い使用人たちは魔女が姿を消して親しきを訪れ、
I'm in for a treat, I guess. <laughs> Makes it sound like you wanted it. <laughs> わあ、<笑> ベアトリーチ様、ごめんなさい。これで魔女様、私たちを許してくれるかな。おお。うん。それは困ったね。マリアちゃん、バトラ君とジェシカちゃんがベアトリーチ様のお怒りに触れないようにする。いいおまじないとかないかな。うん。It's By relying on Maria, who was proud of knowing the most about witches, George was trying to revive her self-esteem. Once again, I've got to admire his ability to calm kids down. After taking a moment to cross her arms and seriously ponder whether there might be a charm that could save us, she started flipping through the pages in her notebook. I thought it was just a scribbled diary, but there also seemed to be quite a few pages that looked like they'd come from a book on black magic. Maria solemnly considered a group of these pages, which contained things that looked like magic circles. Apparently, Grandfather wasn't the only one with a black magic hobby. When Maria finally found what she was looking for, she snapped the notebook shut and threw it into her handbag. She then began fishing through that bag's contents. There seemed to be various jumbled up things in there. After a while, she took out various pieces of junk, although they were probably important magical items to Maria, and repeatedly threw them back in, saying they were wrong. It was all a little humorous. Humorous. <laughs> Just like when Doraemon took out the wrong two. Sorry, really? What the fuck kind of translation <laughs> was that? Am I in the right? What? Doraemon? Oh my god. Why the fuck is there a pop culture reference in this? Finally, she seemed to discover what she was looking for. I didn't know fucking battlers into that show. With a face that was unimaginably cheery when compared to the intense expression she had worn until now, she held those out to Jessica and me. <laughs> I grabbed it and saw that it was a very cheap looking charm. It looked like a bracelet made from a plastic rosary with a scorpion themed metal attached. Haven't you ever seen those sh cheap Zodiac themed accessories? The kind you might win in a crane game a crane game at an arcade. It really looked like something like that. There were two of them. Probably one for me and one for Jessica. However, the very fact that there were two of them made them feel even more like cheap manufactured goods, making it pretty hard to think of them as magical items. <laughs> I don't see why not. Scorpions. 
えー、そうなのかさそれにそんな力がねえふうパトラが信じない The look on Bala's face is like, are you sure about that? <laughs> I'd said too much and angered Maria again. Maria took out her notebook again, pointing out various pages as she went on and on about how the scorpion had such incredible holy power that it had been used in magic repelling magical circles since ancient times. <laughs> 他の使用人の子から聞いたことがありますサソリって魔術では魔除けのシンボルとして描かれることもあるんだとかへえそうなのかああサソリは悪い魔法や最悪から守ってくれる。そしてエメラルドは心に平和をもたらしてくれるだから二重で効果があるふうほんとだサソリがエメラルドを抱いて守ってるねなるほどこれはご利益がありそうだよ I really wanted to make fun of those worthless looking charms, but as I watched Maria explaining with all of her heart and realized that she'd found them for our sakes, I started to feel like it might actually work, even if it was just the prize from some game center. The material quality of the charm didn't matter. What mattered was the strength of her feelings. Even I don't think of myself as the sort of loser who'd laugh at something like that. <laughs> ベアトリーチェ様には謝ったけどよ万が一たたりがある時でもマリアのこのお守りのおかげで安心だぜまあジェシカああそうだぜありがとうなマリアうい心に平安が欲しい時は腕につけるお財布に入れるとお金が減らなくなるドアノブにかけておくと悪いものが入ってこられなくなる便利なお守りそれはすごい効能ですねマリア様が自信を持って進めるお守りならきっと頼もしいものと思います Shan and Chan clapped her hands together, and Maria stuck out her chest. She was totally in a good mood again. It's probably best if we let her lead the conversation a bit longer, if it'll keep her in such a good mood. Come to think of it, she looked a bit bored when we were getting excited about the hidden gold, probably because she couldn't keep up. While eating the cookies Kumasawa san had baked, Jessica and I asked Maria this and that about black magic. Maria happily chatted away in response to our questions. Each time, George Anaki and Shannon Chan would add surprise or chime in. The clouds in the sky grew darker and darker, but we cousins really enjoyed communicating freely after a year of separation. What? Oh no, it's starting to rain. What? Well, we're at a good time to stop from here. Despite my, my stumble incident of the sort. Alright. We got this、uh, talk of good luck charms and the such. <laughs> and. <laughs> pretty interesting. Anyway, next part. Let's see what happens next after this, you know, of the rain. 
Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you then. Have a good one.